Well, hello, Year 10, and here we are again. So, hope you've had a nice half term and been out in the sunshine and had a little bit of time off. And now it's time to get our brains back into gear. So the last piece of work I set you was about wealth, about religion and wealth and about moral ways of earning money and uh, immoral ways of earning money. And the key points of that, and I've been marking some of your work and the rest is on its way back, is really a, a very simple bottom line is that religions are OK with wealth if it has been gained in a fair and moral way through hard work or labour um, and not gained in an immoral way through something like crime. And also, it then depends. It's OK to have wealth, but it does depend on what you do with it. For example, if you have wealth, it's really important in Christian philosophy to share that wealth with others in need because equality is really important. Uh, and the same goes in Islam and, and so much so in Islam. There is, of course, an obligatory giving of your wealth through zakat and kums. So that was the basis of that, really. And it's something really important to remember that in your exam. That's the basis, how you earn your money and what you do with it. Any question to do with the work. But today I specifically want to look at uh, one semi controversial topic about gambling. And. Uh, gambling is an interesting one because straight away you can think, well, gambling, no way. That's not a moral way of earning money. Uh, in fact, in Islam, gambling is haram. Um, and that's really important to remember. But we're going to look at something particular about one aspect of gambling. Which is about the lottery. I don't know if any of you played the lottery. You shouldn't because, of course, you have to be over 18. But maybe your families have. Uh, and you've seen the lotto draws on TV and you've seen uh, scratch cards available in all the shops. And people know about uh, the national lottery, but it is a form of gambling. Gambling, very simple. You pay one fee to try to make more money from it. And that's what gambling actually is. And the lotto. Well, I remember it starting a long time before you were born in 1994. Uh, that first week, everyone had a lottery ticket with that hope and desire to become a millionaire overnight and take away all the woes and troubles of your life. I'm not sure that's what would happen, but that's what the theory was. So we all bought one. And of course, uh, we did it a week after and a week after. And some of us realize actually the chances of winning are so, so, so small. But there is a twist about the lottery. Um, so straight away, what do you think? Is it morally acceptable to play the lottery? I've just explained to you how it works. So why is it that there is some controversy over whether it might be OK? So gambling is seen as inappropriate. But where does the money go that is get paid into Lotto? Now, Lotto, the company that organises Lotto, no doubt make an absolute fortune. And then, of course, they, they pay out huge, huge prizes to those that are lucky enough to be uh, the winners. But what about the rest of it? Well, it's really important to remember that a big chunk of the lottery money goes to what we call good causes. And at the bottom of this um, screen, look, I've put you a link to the Lottery Good Causes website. And I want you to go onto that website and have a look. There's a video on there which gives you some summary of some of the things that the money has been spent on. And there's loads of examples, even our own sports centre, for example, at Impington, um, had a lottery grant to be built. So actually, some of that money that we're putting into the lottery is doing good things. And there's examples of um, church organisations that have used lottery money to fix roofs and build church halls and all kinds of things. So there's a bit of a, is it a contradiction or is it actually uh, a form of gambling that is morally acceptable? So have a look at that, watch the video and then come back and look at the next slide. OK, so on this side, we have got um, some examples of uh, arguments in favour of the lottery. Good causes. It creates overnight wealth. And of course, people who become millionaires, you would say, um, would have a better life, although that's not always been the case. And some of those grants are given to religious buildings. So it's all good, is it not? But on the other side of the coin, gambling is bad. It encourages addiction and we know where addiction can lead. Um, some people think of, of the lottery as a tax on the poor, particularly if you're not wealthy, you're more likely to buy tickets because you want to get out of that poverty trap. 
um, and and maybe by statistics more people who we might consider to be poor or below the poverty line or, or not wealthy perhaps we should say are more likely to buy tickets and therefore some people think that is morally wrong and then the key point is that it's gaining wealth without work or effort and we've already established in our last piece of work that to most religion it is not acceptable to uh, not um, work hard for your money and, and gambling lottery whatever it may be is an example of that and through uh, religious belief of course there are plenty of teachings which we should have looked at in the last piece of work uh, about wealth my favorite one it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God suggests that having wealth and keeping that wealth will not get you into heaven so that's no good Jesus taught all the way through um, his, his work that being selfish was, was a, a, a sin and people should use any wealth that they have to look after others and the parable of the sheep and the goats there's a little bit of it for I was hungry and he gave me something to eat I was thirsty and he gave me something to drink I was a stranger you invited me in I needed clothes and you clothed me I was sick and you looked after me I was in prison and you came to visit and all those aspects um, got the sheep into heaven for showing good moral worth but it's still there when it comes to business Christians must make sure they earn their living in an honest way that does not hurt other people well it's honest it doesn't hurt people or does it or is it and in Islam important gambling is forbidden gambling is haram it states quite clearly Satan's plan is to excite enmity and hatred between you with intoxicants and gambling and hinder you from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer will ye not then abstain that is saying do not gamble gambling and intoxication and anything that takes your mind off the worship of Allah is a sin um, Muslims will not take or many Muslims will not take charitable donations be towards um, as it says they're building mosques or schools if the money's come from gambling there's a great story of a chap in Blackburn um, a few years ago now Muslim and he won lotto he won the lottery he won millions of pounds and he put it into building a community center um, for the Islamic community in that area of Blackburn they built the community center only to realize that no one would go in it the Muslim community refused to work with it go in it and use it and he, and he wasted all that money and um, the Muslim community basically said no it, it's it's come from um, immoral means so there you go so the gambling aspect is, is quite an obvious answer isn't it until you look at one particular aspect here about the lottery so here's this week's question it's a 12 marker I want you to have a go at this and I want you to submit it to me on teams and look at the question no religious believer would agree with playing the lottery and again you evaluate the statement include religious belief and non-religious belief and reach a conclusion so who would agree who would disagree so if you've listened and you've looked at what's on these PowerPoint slides that should be easy and uh, let's get it in and I will feed back to you and I will see you soon